Now, the World Health Organization has announced the formation of an interagency coordination group on antimicrobial resistance, or AMR. Antimicrobial resistance happens when microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi, viruses, and parasites change when they are exposed to antimicrobial drugs. As a result, the medicines become ineffective and infections persist in the body, increasing the risk of spread to others. The World Health Organization says AMR threatens the effective prevention and treatment of an ever-increasing range of infections globally. WHO Chief Margaret Chan says the political declaration is a viral commitment to help tackle the scourge of antimicrobial resistance globally. AMR is a development issue. It is also important for poverty alleviation, sustainable food production, the environment, particularly waters and sanitation as well. So because of the multi-sectoral nature uh, of the issue, and exactly we do require a multi-sectoral response. Without tackling this problem, we cannot achieve the SDG 2030 development agenda. It would be good for governments to put in place regulation and gradually transition to separation of prescribing and sale. The demand from patients is also a big driver. Many patients suffering from viral infection would not leave the doctor's surgery without a prescription of antibiotics. So I think education awareness is important to all partners involved. And Dr. Chan promises that the group appointed by the Secretary General will get to work right away. The interagency group will support governments across the world as well as advise on the use and abuse of antibiotics for people and livestock.